We are down at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and I'm excited to show you guys our new product. It's essentially a meal replacement bar. I know a lot of you guys were buying our pemmican, and pemmican, which is a mixture of dried beef and beef tallow, is a great survival food because it doesn't go bad, it tastes pretty good, and it encapsulates complete nutrition. The problem with our pemmican was we just weren't able to produce enough of it. So Frankie Boy was thinking about whey powders, milk powders, and a bunch of other different high quality, nutritious, animal-based foods. So this bar is only five ingredients. It's whey, tallow, manuka honey, vanilla, and salt. You know, the reason we were gonna call this like Maasai bar, warrior bar, is because when you think of the Maasai's diet, you know, they consume a lot of dairy products and we have the whey. You know, they have a lot of cattle, they eat beef, so we thought about the tallow, the beef fat, and they also eat honey. You know, so we thought about the manuka honey. Uh, and since, you know, the whey, the fat, the vanilla, since those three products were coming from New Zealand, we decided to use Manuka honey as the source of sweetener in New Zealand as well. I mean, could we make this from completely local New York ingredients? Yeah, but you know, we've tried those products, we've tried New Zealand products, and the New Zealand products don't only taste better, uh, they're likely better for you as well. And guys, this bar tastes like ice cream. Literally like ice cream. Out of every survival food, I've imagined from a taste perspective, a nutrition perspective, a storage perspective, nothing is going to beat this. It is perfect from a macronutrient perspective. It is 80% of your calories from fat, 20% from protein, and these are the ratios that would have occurred naturally in our indigenous diets. This is a half pound bar, correct? How many calories was this? 1400. It's 1400, so this would feed a woman or child for a day, definitely. If you were a man, you probably have one and a half bars. Uh, these were three different formulations for the bar. Uh, the middle one is the one I'm holding here. That's the one that's going to work out. Uh, the speckles in it are the vanilla and, guys, I mean it, this literally tastes like ice cream. I would eat this bar all day, every day, as my only source of nutrition. It, it's so tasty, you don't have to prepare anything. So what did you think when I first brought this idea to you? You thought I was nuts, right? I was I was excited to experiment with tallow. So we're using grass-fed wagyu tallow that we render ourselves. And it was a challenge culinarily, but this bar is not only five ingredients, but it's five minimally processed ingredients. So some bars, you know, if they're using a protein isolate, it's, it's heavily processed, or even the sweetener. We're using raw manuka honey, salt, vanilla beans. They're, those are not processed at all. The tallow is just rendered beef fat, and then the whey is a concentrate, so it's just dried whey, it's not a, an isolate. So um, it's as clean as you could be culinarily, and taste-wise, the grass-fed tallow, it, combined with that vanilla and milk, it really does taste like ice cream. Yeah, you have like the nuttiness and the butterscotch flavor, and you can taste the grass. This is from New Zealand. You can taste grass. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of cool that all the ingredients are from New Zealand, um, it just kind of all came together naturally, but it really does make the best bar. Yeah, so the reason the pemmican was priced so high is because, you know, the beef is expensive. But this is something that's going to be at a much lower price point that people can definitely stock up on. Uh, and we're going to try to produce this in a much larger quantity. Right, it's very labor intensive to dry beef, but whey product, uh, whey powder is much easier for us to produce. So it's lower cost and higher production. So tested it on the, the two-year-old and the nine-month-old. They're both Warrior Bar fans. Even my wife, who doesn't really like rendered tallow, she was able to tolerate this. So it does have a texture similar to other energy bars, but it's, it's just a better product. So as you guys know, milk in general is a very nutritionally complete product, and whey protein is no exception. The difference between milk and whey protein is the whey protein doesn't really have the fat-soluble vitamins, but the water-soluble vitamins, the B vitamins, the amino acids, the minerals are much more concentrated. And that's actually a good thing because the B fat, the tallow, has the corresponding fat-soluble vitamins that you're missing by not having the fat from the milk. So this bar is definitely nutritionally complete. You're getting plenty of water-soluble vitamins, fat-soluble vitamins, minerals, ton of calcium. The only real things you're missing in this are iron, 
you know, which people would argue you don't really need a lot of and you don't want a lot of. Uh, magnesium and copper, which can be obtained by quality plant foods. And maybe we'll even do, you know, a chocolate flavor of this bar where we do incorporate, you know, some of that chocolate for the magnesium and the copper, that mineral content, and the preformed omega 3s, EPA, and DHA. But if you're consuming high quality grass fed foods, your body can convert the ALA, the alpha linolenic acid, into EPA and DHA. And in the case of this bar, since it is made with really high quality ingredients, and it will correct the omega ratios in your diet, your body can perform you know, the metabolic enzymatic processes that are required to do that. So this is the Manuka honey, raw cold pressed Manuka. This is just what we're using right now. I mean, we might not use the same brand, but if you guys haven't had Manuka honey from New Zealand, it's really delicious. Uh, the UMF stuff, to my understanding, from what I've experimented with, it doesn't really matter that much, uh, but you know, that's one of the reasons Manuka honey is so prized. You know, once this factor goes up, uh, which has to do with antioxidants and stuff. This stuff can get really, really expensive, like $70, $89 for a jar this size. Uh, that's the salt that we use for this, but we're gonna source a New Zealand salt. So this is available for you guys right now. We're gonna have a few hundred of them for this weekend, and we're gonna try to ramp up production in the future. Uh, right now, it's available in that form. You know, with everything going on in the world, all this craziness, my goal was to bring you guys a non-perishable survival food that's affordable, that we can produce, in mass uh, so that's the goal here that's what we're doing uh, let me know if there's any other flavors you guys would like to see and i was thinking of doing like a bar that was just you know tallow and whey but honestly it didn't taste too good and from a survival perspective you know i'm not really sure if if people want to really keep with those super strict dietary restrictions so not only does a bar made from only whey and fat not taste good it's like super bland it, it's not great it's also not nearly as nutritious as this, and it's not gonna give you as much energy as this. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us today. This is gonna be available on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. I will link the product down below in the description. See you guys soon. We're gonna do a live stream later on Frank Tufano.